Hi everybody, just wanted to come on here and, and make a quick posting. Uh, I got a video, a new video that's going to be coming out maybe tonight or tomorrow. It's going to be on my boiler. I know John Such, you've been waiting for this. Um, it's going to be 35 degrees tonight. House has been cooling off. Um, I took the tractor, got some firewood. I came up. Guess what? I never did the boiler PM when I shut it down this past winter. So, I took a whole bunch of footage. I'll be putting it together. I'll be showing you inside and outside what the boiler does, how it works, how I clean it. And then I'll do another video. I'll have to show you how the system works as a whole because uh, it'd be just too much for one video. But um, doing, doing a little bit of wood splitting. Billy LeCount. I'm digging the axe, brother. Loving it. Um, just splitting up a little bit of wood and I'm getting ready to fire this boiler up. That'll be in the video that comes out, so stay tuned. Um, I just uh, split some of the firewood that I brought in, just some small stuff. And I've got my moisture meter here and I'm going to show you how that works in this video now. I did draw a winner for the um, chainsaw chain. You're not going to believe it. I'm not going to spoil it. Um, I'm going to contact the person. And uh, this is going to be a surprise of how I'm going to do it. So stay tuned. And uh, whoever's the winner is going to get a good surprise. So that being said, I got to get this boiler started. So. Hope you enjoy this little short clip. It's about moisture meter and a little bit about how I prepare the wood to start this boiler. Okay guys, got a moisture meter. We're gonna test a piece of wood here. So again, I think this was split maybe early spring and it's been stacked and sitting outside full sun, full wind for all, all summer long. The trick about measuring your moisture content in your firewood is making a fresh split in a piece that you plan to throw in and burn. Split down the, down the middle and then check your measurement of your moisture on that fresh split face. If you're not doing that, you're, you're fooling yourself on your moisture, guys. Women and children, ladies and gents. So fresh split face with this moisture meter. It's got four different settings that you can choose from. And I'm pretty sure hardwood is C. Uh, yeah, it says right there, ash. This is a piece of ash. So I'm gonna change the mode. And then, pretty simple, push it in. Okay. I don't know if you can read that. 21%. Okay, that's pretty good. That's another reason why I split them so small. I mean, it only takes eight, nine months to season. Actually, I left it in there. Look what it's reading now. <laughs> oh, it looks like 21 in the camera, but it's actually 15. I don't know how that comes out uh, when the video gets published, but it's 15.5% on this piece of wood. And we could try another one. Let's try something that won't split too hard. Something a little bigger. Here you go. All right, so this is, looks like a piece of maple. Ooh, I can tell already it's gonna be dry. Let's see. Hmm. Can that be right? It says 45%. Oh, you know what? Another factor is this wood should be at room temperature when you do your moisture uh, test. You're bringing in wood that's, I don't know, 40, 30 degrees, frozen. You're going to get a different number. You're supposed to let this sit 24 hours inside, 
gets it to room temperature, and then you test your moisture. I don't think it's 45% moisture. I have a hard time believing that. <laughs> it says 50% moisture. I've tested green wood that ain't 50% moisture, so uh, I don't believe that one. So anyway, well here I just I just split a piece of rough cut two by four, and let's see what that says. Now I don't know when the last time I changed the battery in this is, but. Sometimes it does funny things. I suppose it could do funny things if the battery's dead. Here's a piece of pine, rough cut. You know, it wasn't kiln dried or anything. It's 14%, so I have a hard time believing that maple's 45%. Let's do another piece. Of course, we have been getting rain the past few days, so I don't think it's a sponge though. 50%, 45% you'd expect. You'd expect it to be a uh, sponge like. Although, I suppose it could be, but I doubt it. It is spalted. Right, so that really is the wood decomposing. See, this one's 15%. So, and make sure I'm on the right setting. I wasn't. I was on the wrong setting. 21%. 20%. So, I can't believe that piece is 45. That seems more like it. 20% is a good number. All right. Hey, guys. The last thing I wanted to tell you about that moisture meter is... It's just an estimate, all right? So, unless you're buying wood that people are claiming a certain moisture on, you know, it's not a whole lot of value. But if you're paying for dry wood and the person's claiming it's dry, then ask them. Ask them to see what the moisture is, especially if you don't own one. Um, but make sure they're doing it right too, right? Because if you're, they're just shoving it in the end of the split of the wood that's been exposed to the dry air for the past maybe three or five or six months, it's going to say it's dry. Split a piece. Try it in the center. All right, that's, that's where the bacon is. Everybody take care. And uh, for the guys that are out at the Bunyan Show, I hope you enjoy yourself out there. Um... You know, all of you guys on my channel pretty much come from Buck and Billy Ray's channel, and I appreciate everybody that comes and watches. But for those of you who don't know, his name is Pete. His channel, Nuts319, N-U-T-Z-319. Go check him out. He's a he's an East Coast guy in Pennsylvania. Uh, he's good friends with Stump Jumper. And uh, there's another good channel. You guys like to see some cutting that's the guy to go watch pete's a good guy um so yeah go check out their channel drop in say hello they're going to be a, a paul bunyan hanging out with each other well i'm sure there's going to be a lot of shenanigans uh, i wish i could make it maybe next year it's not in the cards right now uh, between the horse barn and i haven't even moved my firewood and got a lot going on so i'll try to plan better and maybe be there next year so everybody take care thanks for watching